Number 41. Balance each of the following equations according to the half reaction method. And then we have letter C. So in this case, we have to balance Br2 liquid plus SO2 gas, and that yields bromide ion, Br minus, and then sulfate ion, which is SO4 2 minus. And we have to balance this in an acidic solution. So we got this. We've done like, I don't know, 30 plus balancing redox reactions. So we got this, right? Here are the rules, right? So let's just run through them and do this problem. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to break this whole equation into two half reactions. Pick the elements that go together in the specific compounds. So for example, I have a bromine here and it's going to hook up with the bromine in the half reaction. And then I have the sulfur with the oxygen, right? And that's going to hook up with the sulfur and the oxygen. So those are my two half reactions, bromine with bromine, sulfur and oxygen with sulfur and oxygen. Let's write them down. So we've got Br2 liquid yields uh, Br minus, and that's an aqueous. And then we have SO2 gas, which will yield SO4 2 minus, and that's aqueous. First step done, let's go. <laughs> So now we're going to balance all of the elements except for hydrogen and except for oxygen. So I'm not even looking at the oxygen down here. We're only allowed to balance all the other elements. So that's the bromine on the top reaction and the sulfur on the bottom. Let's start with top and then work our way down. On this side, right, I have a bromine. And how many do I have? Well, I have two of them, right? So I have two bromines on this side, but I only have one bromine on this side. So, hmm, I need to add a coefficient here. What number? If I have one and I want two, I'm going to put a two here. Okay. Now let's see for the bottom. I have one sulfur and I have one sulfur. So they're already balanced for me. I don't have to do anything. So this part is done. Now we move on to oxygen. We balance oxygen by adding H2O. And just keep in mind that if you need to add one oxygen on one side, you're going to add it as one H2O, right? And if you need to add two oxygens on one side, you'll add two H2Os. Three oxygens, three H2Os. I have no oxygen on the top, so disregard that. But on the bottom, I have oxygen on the left and the right side. On the left side, I have two oxygen. On the right side, I have four oxygen. So between two and four, I need to add oxygen on this side. I need to add two oxygens. So two oxygens, two H2Os. So I'll add two H2Os. And that gets rid of the oxygen issue. So that's done. Now we got to balance the hydrogen, right? Balance hydrogen by adding H plus. Don't forget that plus, all right? So same exact idea. If you need to add one hydrogen, on either side, you'll add it as 1H plus. So two hydrogens, two H pluses. I come to the top, I don't have any hydrogen, so I just skip it over. But on the bottom, I now have hydrogen because it's in the H2O that I added. There's two here, but there's a big two coefficient. So there's a total of four hydrogen here. There's no hydrogen on this side, so four you know, zero and four, I need to add four H pluses to get that zero to a four. And now that's balanced. Okay, halfway through. Now we just have to balance the charges. We balance the charges by adding the electrons. Electrons are E negative, right? They're negative. And we always add them to the more positive side, bringing them down to the more negative side. So this is where we draw that barrier, right? We can't cross the barrier. We're going to compare one side of the half reaction with the other side. And you look in the upper right-hand corner to see if there's any charge, right? Here's a charge right here. Here's a charge, a charge. But some of them won't have charges, like this one. There's no charge in the upper right-hand corner. So if there's no charge, it's neutral. It's zero. And anything times zero is zero. So this overall side would be a zero charge. 
And what's the overall charge of this side? Well, now I have a charge. It's a negative one, but now I have two of them. So two times a negative one is an overall negative two. Now I compare these two charges. Which one is more positive? This side, right? Zero is more positive than a negative two. So I know that I'm going to add my electrons on my left side. But now how many? Well, you add as many as you need to bring it down to the other side. So on a number line, right, I need to go two spots to go from a zero to a negative two. So that's how many electrons I add. And now that part is done. Now we do the same for the bottom. But for both H2O and SO2, right, I look in the upper right-hand corner and I don't see any charges. So they're both zero. Doesn't matter how many I have. Zero times two is zero. Zero times one is zero. I add them together. I have an overall zero charge on my left-hand side. Now let's do the same for the other side. Well, I have a two minus now. And I only have one of these. So I have a negative two coming in for the SO4. And now I have a plus charge for the hydrogen. That's a plus one. But there's four of them. So I have to multiply. Four times a plus one is a plus four. Add these two charges together. Negative two plus four, four minus two. This is the same thing as a plus two. So that's the overall charge here. Out of these two numbers, which side is more positive? Now it's this side that's more positive. So I know that I have to add my electrons on this side, on my right side, but how many? Well, how many numbers go from two to zero? Two spots, right? So I need to add two electrons. And now this part is done. Now let's just erase all this math that we didn't need, but we don't need any more, just so that it looks cleaner. Uh, let's see, I can get rid of this, I can get rid of this. It was just a plus, okay. Now we're good. Now we need to balance the actual electrons. Let's see what numbers we added. Well, we have two electrons here on the left, and we have two electrons on the right. Okay. They're already balanced. They're the same number. So we don't have to do anything here. So this step, basically, you know, we don't, we just skip over. They're already the same number. But now here's a good checkpoint, guys. Okay. The checkpoint is that the electrons that you add should be on opposite sides of the divider that you made. If for some reason you had a situation where you had the electrons on the same side, go back. Something happened. Try to retract your steps backwards or just try again. Something went wrong. Now for the last thing, well, the second to last thing, I guess, right? We're going to cancel out those like substances. That's why you had to get those electrons to be the same. Because you want them to cancel out. So, bye-bye. Did all that work just to cross them out. <laughs> um, can we cross off anything else across the divider? Well, I have the water here but there's no water on this side, right? I have H plus on this side. I don't have anything here. So there's nothing else that I could cancel. So this is all done. Now we finally have our equation. And basically everything that's on the left side stays on the left side. Everything that's on the right side stays on the right side of the yield sign. It doesn't matter what order you put these three in. You know, you just have to have those three on the left side. So maybe I'll just say we'll start off with 2H2O plus Br2 liquid plus SO2 gas yields these three. So maybe I'll say 2Br minus aqueous plus SO4, 2 minus aqueous, and then finally we have our 4H plus. And that is the end, my friends, to lovely... Uh, Redox reactions, I think this is the last one out of all of the 37 that I've done. <laughs> so hopefully you've been, you've been here for the journey. Uh, I will, will never have to do redox ever again. I think 30 plus questions is, is enough for you guys to grasp it. I hope so. All right. Let me know in the comments. Um, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you guys. You guys rock. And I hope that I'm, you know, teaching you in a way that you guys can learn. You guys have been so enjoyable. I love talking to you guys. And we're moving on to something else, all right? So hopefully I'll see you in the next lessons, whatever we do, all right? Have a great day and keep studying hard, all right? See you guys soon. Bye-bye.